For years, the research on physical activity and its effect on obesity has been a one-way street. But now BYU professors are looking at it from the opposite angle. Reporter Kathleen Keller shows us how a few extra pounds could slow you down. In the United States, 7 out of 10 people are overweight or obese, and most people know that a lack of exercise can lead to a lifetime of obesity. But have you ever wondered if the opposite was true? One professor at BYU asked this question and embarked on a study to see if obesity led to a more sedentary lifestyle. As people uh, become less active, they gain weight. As they gain weight, they uh, become less active and the less active, they gain more weight, and so it's a, a negative uh, spiral. He sampled a group of middle-aged women over a period of 20 months, but he couldn't just ask them to tell them how much they worked out. But these are called accelerometers, and accelerometers uh, measure acceleration or movement, and we track women over that uh, period of time for weeks at a time so that it doesn't matter what they tell us, it really matters is what these devices tell us and, and the readings we get. There's a big difference. Many people think that they get enough physical activity walking to and from place to place, but experts recommend that you get at least 30 minutes of physical activity a day. This can be anything from brisk walking to a really intensive workout. Only about 7 or 8 percent of American adults get sufficient physical activity, so there's much air. There's tremendous over-reporting uh, among American adults. They think they're getting more activity than they really are. But a lack of physical activity can lead to other types of lethargy. Depression, that's pretty significant, but depression leads to considerable um, sedentary behavior. People that are depressed just don't feel like doing anything and the more depressed they are, the less they're active, the less they're active, the, the more out of shape they become the more weight they gain, and then we start that cycle again. Hopefully, as researchers become more in tune with this cycle, uh, we can better educate people and help them to realize what's happening. I think as people learn the problem and learn more about the problem, they can um, adjust their lifestyles. So what can you do to be more physically active? Well, you don't have to work out like you're training for a marathon every day, but you can simply just get up and move around for a half hour, and that'll help you not only keep your weight in check, but it'll boost your mood as well. The benefits of regular physical activity are just tremendous. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of investment, 30 minutes a day, maybe 45 minutes. If a person has a weight management problem, maybe even an hour a day. But when you consider that kind of investment, um, the benefits are just tremendous. Kathleen Keller, BYU Weekly.